time is mine to say I'm pulling on a cigarette He's in the skies deep in the dark And in a mix he knows the mark Woohoo! What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel. I'm Chef Andy. Today we're doing a review of the Baby Beast TFV8 Baby Beast by Smock. Yeah! Ah. Sorry, I'm not getting quite in the frame there. There we go. Ta-da! Alright, so I've already broken down the box just to make it easier and quicker for you, but I'm going to read. I'm going to read what comes in the box, alright? Uh, let's see, we got one times the TFV8 Baby Tank. That would be right here. I've got it disassembled. Uh, let's see. One time V8 Baby Q2 core. It's a .4 dual, dual coil. Already installed. There you go. You can see it right there. We also have a uh, V8 T8 core .15 octuple coil. That's right here. I'm not going to put that in yet. All right. We have replacement glass right there. And let's see. We have user manual right there. Uh, spare parts. So we have a baggie here. We've got a baggie going on with some spare parts. And uh, so if we have to replace that top fill, little uh, ring that comes open on the top, we can do that. We can replace the little gaskets. It's all right there. Also, there is a Atomizer User Attention Warning Card. And uh, you might want to pay attention to that. All right. Since we've got that open, I'm going to go ahead and just take the minute here to Put everything back in the box because I'm a guy that if I don't do that, something will come up missing. Trust me. Oh, see? It would probably be like the drip tip that I got off. I would end up losing something. Trust me. Alright, we're going to get everything back up in there. Get that there. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to just take these guys out, <clears throat> put everything back in the box, ta-da, alright, and again you can see the little sleeve that comes over it, it's got everything that you want to be able to see in there, there, how about that. Once again, it's the Baby Beast. The TFV8 Baby Beast by Smart. Yes. Today we're going to go ahead and test that out on my HPRIV by Smart. It's 220 watt. So you can see that that's the uh, by Smart. And that is, again, the HPRIV. All right. Let's get everything assembled, shall we? So we're just going to go ahead and pop that glass in there it's already got the coil got to tighten it down alright now let's go ahead and get that drip tip in there just give it a little tightening that it might need if you need to take and, and take that top fill off there you go it's just uh, like some of the other smock tanks and all you do is just you heard that click so once again there you go you fill it up in there and click I'm just gonna make sure I did that right okay it's open and click see all right we're gonna give it one more tight tightening little don't over tighten it either uh, you could end up ruining ruin brewing ruining man I am just you know what station identification break all right 
we're going to go ahead and get some juice up in there, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to take a little taste of it. But first, we got to get that juice in there so it can start priming. And if I was thinking, I should have left it off and primed it while I had the coil exposed. But that's okay. That's just par for the course for me today. That's just about what's happening all day long. Get that nice and filled. By the way, what I'm putting in there is my own DIY juice. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, here, let's come over here. And that is peach iced tea with uh, 3 milligram nicotine by volume. That's my personal preference. And again, like I said, I'm using my own DIY e juice. I make a lot of my own. Um, Oop, we got a little spillage. And that again is par for the course for me. Uh, I make a lot of my own stuff. Uh, it's just cheaper. It really is. Alright. I got a little spillage, but I always keep some napkins right here. As you can see, I keep all my stuff all here so that I could use it and you want to wipe this up you don't want anything exposed you don't want to ruin your parts here you go check out my hand can you see it see all that glistening stuff I'm gonna go ahead and get this on here real quick at least so I can get it upright Alright, we're going to wipe everything down. Like I said, I do a lot of spillage. Uh, but regardless, even if you do or you don't spill like I do, you still want to have some napkins available. Make sure your surface is clean at all time. I'm going to go ahead and cap this, put it back up on my shelf. As you can see over my shoulder here on the glitchy camera, there it is. All right, I got a bunch of stuff back there. I'll get working on that this little camera as soon as I can. And that's better. I'm gonna take a few uh, suctions without hitting the the fire button, simply because I want to draw that that e liquid through the the. Uh, the uh, wick in there and uh, through the coil and wick just so that we don't have any of those dry hits nobody wants dry hits because then you got to change your coil at least I do because I, I can't stand the ongoing taste of burnt and yummy in my mouth if that makes sense oh yeah let's go ahead and mess with the airflow I could taste that it I mean I could tell that it was better all right let's get that going here in a second just real quick all right once again that is the smock tank the baby beast the tfv8 baby beast and it comes one more time and i'll put all the stuff down below if you will, please like and subscribe, but I'll put all this stuff down below so that I don't have to re-repeat and all that stuff. Uh, we got one times TFV8 baby tank. We got one times V8 baby uh, uh, Q2 core. That's the .4 dual coil pre-installed in there already. Uh, we've got one times V8 T8 core, and that's the .15 octuple coil. One time replacement, or I'm sorry, one, one times replacement glass tube. My mouth is just not wanting to move. One time user manual, and we got spare parts. And that is what's up in there. That's what we just put on my, my uh, Smock H Priv 220 watt, where that's what we're testing it on. I like to put brand with brand if I can. 
Oh yeah. I can taste it now. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Uh, let's see, I've got it on 70 watt at this time. It'll go to 220, but that doesn't mean you need to place it at 220. I like to put it in the sweet spot between about 55 and 80. Um, I've noticed that's where I, I get the best. Oh, it went to temperature mode. Okay, now we went back to wattage mode. All right, we're going to put that at about 70. That should do it. You know what's funny about this? Since I've got a higher power machine and, and tank, you don't have to push that fire button down quite as as uh, long as you do with, with maybe your 50 watt machines and all that. Wow. Alright, let's try this again. And I can taste that good too. Good night. Wow. And I've got that again at 70 watt. What I've got in here is some, uh, I think I've got some uh, EFES 3000 um, maw with the 40 hydrain amperage on it, I think. Oh my. And it's, you know, and it's not burning too hot where you get that kind of stale at the end. That is pure flavor. Now, I will tell you that I make my um, my e-juices with Max VG. That includes the nicotine that I put in there. It's all Max VG uh, because I like, well, you, you see what I like. So, um, I like clouds. I like flavor. Uh, and I like when some of the lower wattage machines even though they might pump out, you know, a pretty good cloud, they don't quite get as much flavor going on when you exhale. So it pays to have a, a higher wattage or temperature controlled machine. Uh, wow, you know what? Um, you guys, go out and get this. It is rocking. It really is. I mean, look at this. I barely have to hold this fire button down. That was about three seconds, three to four seconds. Wow. Like I said, go out and, and get this. You will not be disappointed. I am not disappointed at all. Uh, and having said that, we're going to get on out of here, but please, one, one more time, if you can, please like, subscribe. Uh, what do we got going on here? What? Please like and subscribe, and I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, but until next time, I really thank you for coming on by, and let's get on out of here. Later. He's in his prime, his mind is set. I'm pulling on a cigarette. He's in the skies, deep in the dark. Mix, he knows the mark.